Foliage is an important aspect of any background, whether it be for your games, animation, or just a still render. So today, let's see how to draw foliage in Greta. Once you have created a canvas of desired dimensions, it's time to remove the opaque layer. For this tutorial, I'm using a canvas of dimensions 800 by 800. Pick your desired color for the leaves. I'm choosing a dark green here. And then once you have selected, use the circle draw tool to draw a big circle. You have to draw more of these and then you'll be connecting them together using the pen tool. You could draw these basic shapes however you want. I'm just going for a really simple tree here. And once you have finished the basic sketch, it's time to fill in with a color. You could use the solid color that you use to draw the outline or you could use some other color. I'm using the very dark green that I used at the beginning. You could then use a brush to fill in any holes that would have remained after you use the fill tool. Once you're done with that, it's time to create a clipping group. To do so, right click on your layer, choose group and then in that pop-up window, choose quick clipping group. Now that you have a clipping layer, all you have to do is choose whatever texture that you can find on the textures menu in the brush presets and then start going crazy. There are a lot of textures that come with creators, so you could choose what texture that would suit your drawing. Then you could start adding more and more layers and then adding textures for each layer so that you could give a sense of depth. When you create a new layer, it's important to note that the new layer should be in the clipping group and as well as the same time, the A on the right of the layer should be checked. You can also mess around with layer modes to get different and interesting results for each layer. And once you're content with what you've created, it's time to create a new layer with the layer mode set to raise. And then using a texture brush which has a texture of whatever you would like, I'm using it set as a texture of leaf, you could draw around your image. Also be mindful to erase any floating leaves that could be created upon the result of using a textured eraser. And that is pretty much how we create foliage in Krita. If you just want a bush, you could stop right here. However, I'm going to create a tree so I'm going to draw a trunk as well. The same method pretty much applies for the trunk. You could create a clipping group for that and then Add upon layers with details on each layer. Using this very method, you could create different types of foliage, whether it be trees, shrubs, bushes, whatever. Not only trees, but also rocks. I hope that this video proved helpful to you. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe.